Hey, you're still here! Uh, this is episode 126 of Let's Play Persona 3 FES Blind, with your host, Damiol SC. Let's see. Zilka, Zilka, Besa, Besa. Lately, there's been a lot going on in the world, but you all shouldn't let it get to you. Wow, we just became Southern. Okay, Southern, Mr. Edgar. Common people are too susceptible for their occult knowledge. The worst thing a magician can do is lose control. Always do what must be done, and you'll be Anyway, today's lecture is on the magic of grace. Grace is an important birthplace of Western philosophy and rationality, but the art curses advances right alongside them. Philosophers such as Socrates, Thales, and Plato were a Greek book. It was also the home of a legendary to legendary enchantresses. I like me some enchantresses. For example, there was Medea, the passionate sorceress of Colchrace. Okay, I want to stop with that voice now. It was fun for a little bit. She was a witch who didn't hesitate to kill her brother or even her own children. Then there was Circe, daughter of Helios, who was an expert in both poison and medicine. Without her, Mrs. Help, the legendary Odysseus would have been changed into a pig. These may have only been myths, but reading between the lines, you can see the Greeks' views on magic. Greek magic began to take shape around the 8th century BC. It was around the same time that the polis, or city-states, were developing. Like many ancient civilizations, they worshipped protector gods. They were temples and priestesses tended. These people would double as oracles. Gradually, however, these ceremonies were performed in secret rather than in public. The reason for this was the people's desire to monopolize the people, the power of the gods. They copied the barbaric practices of legend, sacrifices, drinking, orgi orgiastic festivals. Dangerous acts such as them became widespread. Apollo, Dionysus, Orpheus. Hey, I have Orpheus! These were the gods they invoked when performing the rituals. Orpheus is not a god! Are you listening? Don't cross the river Styx now! Eh, eh, eh. Okay, I'll test to see if you're listening or not. Get it wrong, and your aura will shift. Zilka, Zilka, Pesa, Pesa. Now, who should I pick? I choose the Akira. I mentioned two Greek sorceresses. One was Medea. Who was the other, Cersei? You did not say Hecatite. Oh, I've noticed. Very good. Your aura is as clear as a mountain spring. It was secrecy like that which turned priestesses into sorceresses. Teaching originally meant to bring salvation to the body and soul fell to mere drunken orgies, luring people to the hideous path of immortality. Necrophilia, using babies for potion ingredients. This is where the abominable black arts began. Lunchtime. Who wants to hang out with me today? Probably Fuga. Unfortunately, Fuga, you will have to wait. I did you as kind of an act of desperation, to be honest. I had no one else to hang out with. I know I can't finish Fuka in like 10 days. 13, but you know, whatever. I will push her as hard as I can, just at this time, because, well, why not? <laughs> why not? But I am, if she's at level 1, I'm going to work on Bebe more, but he's not here, so I guess it is Fuga. Because it's Monday, so the two will be available. This would not be happening if that stupid, stupid librarian girl didn't take so freaking long. I made lunch. Would you mind trying some of it? I think it tastes better than last time. At least, it can't be any worse, right? It's a cat. Hi, kitty. Meow. Oh, a kitty cat. Oh, he's so cute. He's hungry, doesn't he? Here, yeah, kitty kitty. Maybe she gave us some food. What do you think, Akiro? I was hoping you'd say that. Huh? What, what, what happened? Wait, was it the food? Uh, this tastes terrible. I, I must have left it out too long. Sorry, please don't eat any of this. I don't want you to get sick. I'm so disappointed. I want to help everyone out, even outside of battle. 
There aren't many chances to eat homemade food when you live in the dorm. I thought it would be nice to make lunch for everyone, but... I uh, need to get better at cooking. Maybe I eat with your help. I can. Again. Well, see you later. He's saying that he wants to go to Tartarus tonight. That's a terrible voice. Koro chan. We're not doing Tartars, we're fine. Jeez, you guys can go without me, you know. Such, such clingy people. The 19th, Tuesday. I hate to even go out from under the covers these days. I think Cinder doesn't sound so bad if you really think about it. I know, right? I can sleep all day and people would be all concerned for me. I know, maybe I'll try becoming one, just for a while. Wow. Hey, what is it with that girl that's carrying like a cat carrier? That is not a school bag, that's like a duffel bag. There's a body in there. The Yes, 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 I'm coming. Is, I'm still amazed by myself that I completely, like, miss the fact that, um those other people were available for so long. You know, like, my other girlfriend, and then, yeah, my best friend is at the back of the class. I just thought once their social league was done, they were just gone. You could never see him again. For some reason. But no, I mean, he's still there. I just passed him. Without the explanation mark, I just overlooked him the whole time. Well, days. So give me the level five, four, three, two, one. It's so easy. You simply purchase a ticket in the window and you can watch a movie. It may sound strange, but I've been eager to have experience film in an actual theater. Even though we sat at the end of the aisle, I didn't feel like my view was compromised in the least. I find it interesting that so much thought was put the design and construction of the movie theater. This used to be that I've always felt too uncomfortable coming here alone. Alone. I don't think I would normally have this type of conversation, but it seems to me like Hikari is the type of girl who wouldn't feel inhibited watching the movie by herself. She's also more suited to ride the motorcycle. Or not? That's not what I meant, but I really don't have the time, the time to ride it. I just imagine myself riding to some far-off destination without telling anyone. It's fun to think about. Well, let's go. Together? Just, just the two of us? Can you ride a motorcycle or do you plan to sit on the back? <laughs> Either way, it'd be a lot of fun. Thank you, I feel much better. Is this level 5, I hope? No, 5. Okay, so I have 5 more to go, and I have, I think, 5 days left. So I don't know that I can make it. I don't... I think... Towards the end, you can't do it every single time. But I will certainly freaking try.
I will sleep earlier. January 20th. 11 days until the 31st. After school on a Wednesday, so she won't be available today. So I guess that means it's a Fumi day. Fumi day, unless Bebe is here. He is. Who do I want to work on? Apparently I want to work on him, because Fumi isn't there. Akira-sama? You are coming today, ne? Right? Arigato! Thank you! Are you alright? You can tell something is wrong? But last night, my, my dear aunt was taken away by the angels. What? Th that is why? So, sorry, Kumanati. She was the reason I was able to come to Japan. And now she has been taken away. She helped me so much and I could not do anything for her. I was holding this inside because I know that crying will not help. But seeing the look on your face, Akira Saba, I. That's a level 4, I think? Yeah, so it's basically not close enough to max it out. Sorry, go on, Nazi. I can't work today. Sayonara. Dude, we're not going to Tartarus. Okay, so that is my that is my save that I'm not overriding, so I'll override this one. You know what, I actually probably I will go to Tartarus once more. Um, if no other reason to fight death. I've said I wasn't going to do it, but I mean the more they keep saying, hey, let's go to Tartarus, and the more I keep not going, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I just have a feeling, guys. I just have a feeling. I've just got a feeling. Just got a feeling. Uh oh. I'm sorry to ask so suddenly, but can you come with me? There's something we need to discuss. Uh, you want all of us or just him? Just him for now. Come with me to the student council room. Rut row. I'm in trouble. Isn't it kind of weird that she'd only want to talk to him? Probably some big important student council business. Nah. Maybe so, but Senpai was acting a little weird. She had that look she gets when she's keeping some terrible secret. Ah, you worry too much. Well, if the high muckety mucks don't need us, might as well go home. <laughs> hey, wait a second, Junpei. According to the seating chart, if he's not here, you have to clean up for him. Have fun sweeping the hallway! What? Where did that rule come from? <laughs> I don't know I swept the hallway. There's something you have to know. Do you remember the girl named Chidori, who was with Strega? Uh, yeah. I don't mean to alarm you, but the fact is, there's a chance that she may wake up today. 
Wait, she, she's dead. She got shot. I know what you're going to say, and yes, we did see her die in front of our eyes. However, her body began to undergo transmogrification a few days after the incident. For the past few weeks, she's been in a state that is neither living nor dead. Oh, really? I don't know. It may be related to her persona abilities, but that's mere speculation. But what I wanted to talk to you about is your opinion on how to break the news to Yori. You see, she's probably... Mitsuru here. I see. Yes, I understand. That was the hospital. They say she's just awakened. It's unbelievable. But although we had confirmed her death, it seems Chidori has come back to life. Iori? Did I hear that right? Chidori is... Huh? Is this a joke? Some kind of trick? No. It's not a joke or a trick. She is currently recovering in the same hospital as before. But... Iori... She probably... Chidori... Chidori's... alive? <laughs> uh, hey, Junpei! What about your cleanup duty? Jeez, what's gotten into him? Oh, she's probably what? A zombie? A vampire? Well, I guess it's a moot point now. But perhaps it's best that he found out this way. I think I'll head to the hospital after this, too. Could I ask you to come along? Oh, I can't lose another day! Uh, at this point, guys, I'm sorry, I can't finish Mitsuru off, and I really, really wanted to. Lame. Huh? Junpei? You took off that fast, and you still haven't gone inside? Well, I mean, it's kinda... We'll wait outside. It wouldn't be good for all of us to storm in. I agree. Iori? Her damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but there's no more danger of her dying in two years. Is it... really you, Chidori? I'm not dreaming, am I? Dreaming? It's true. It is you. Chidori! Who... are you? Huh? What? I thought as much. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. I suspected that this might be the case. This is Mitsuru-san and Junpei-kun. They were your friends last year. Friends? My name is Chidori Yoshino. I'm sorry, it hasn't quite hit me yet, but it seems I don't remember any of the past few years. It's as if I was dreaming for a very long time. Chidori Yoshino. It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. Hey, how do you know about personas? She remembers everything persona? that happened before then, but as for you all... Iori. Nah, I think... It's better for her that she doesn't remember. All that stuff about fighting and pills, and you're having a nightmare. It ain't a bad thing to wake up. I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> it was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted him to be happy, and I... I think... there were flowers. A room filled with them. Ugh. Chidori, take it easy. You don't have to force yourself to remember. F 
flowers in a room. If she remembers that part clearly, then maybe... Do you remember when she'd use her power from time to time to make flowers bloom again? She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Junpei-kun would come. Any flowers she touched would be mysteriously preserved. That's why I kept them all for research purposes. But after the autopsy, I put them all on her chest as a tribute. And thinking back on it, it may have been that night that she began to transmogrify. The power to share one's life with others. Could it be that she reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Well, I can't prove any of it. But compared to how she was before, she's changed. The loss of her power is part of it, but more than that. Excuse me, are you talking about me? I was gonna say, what are you guys doing? We were talking about how you want to live now. Huh? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have to find the person in my dream someday. I can't lie in this bed forever. Supposing you do find him and meet him, what then? That's... That's none of your business. Chidori! Two hearts reunited. It's a miracle. No, it's a victory. <laughs> Chidori! H hey! Why are you crying? I, I I can't help it. This this is seriously the happiest moment of my life. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna take the day away from me. God dang it. One, thank you for whoever told me to get that scene, but also... <laughs> um, this is the end of the episode, and I actually am going to go back to Tartarus and try and fight death. So, I'm not going to my river, I don't know why I'm walking over here. And I will end the episode here. Next episode, we square off against death. Um, see if we can beat him. So, see you then for the death episode. The death episode. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys.